He was a couturier in the truest sense of the word. He was the idol for the fashion masters of his time. A certain fashion house founder who defined the style of the times regarded him as master of us all. Like the old masters whose paintings had inspired him, this Spaniard from the Basque country influenced history with his refined and graceful works. From June to September 2019, the exhibition Balenciaga in Spanish Painting opened at the Museo Nacional Tizen Bonamisa in Madrid. This was the first major exhibition in Madrid dedicated to Balenciaga in the past 50 years. Some 90 haute couture garments designed by Balenciaga were juxtaposed with more than 50 Spanish masterworks from the 16th to the 20th century. These paintings, rarely on loan, represent the long-standing art tradition of Spain. The exhibition offered an opportunity to discover how they inspired Balenciaga. The first section of the exhibition is about Balenciaga's childhood encounter with art in Guteria. His mother, a seamstress for the Marquis of Casa Torres provided an environment for young Balenciaga to learn about the craft. In the Marquis's palace, he was exposed to the beauty of fine arts. The first room introduces us into the life of Cristobal Balenciaga. And what is very striking is that the artworks exhibited there are the artworks that Balenciaga knew. He was familiar with them because they belonged to a powerful family, an aristocratic family who had a villa in the north of Spain, in Gataria, where Cristobal Valencia was born. So uh, his mother, uh, Martina, was a seamstress there. And that is how the child uh, was uh, really surrounded by art from a very young age. When he was waiting for his mother, young Balenciaga gazed at the paintings in the Marquise's home. Impressed by the style and elaboration of the paintings, he discovered a world that later became his major source of inspiration. Balenciaga found inspiration from many Spanish master painters. Among these, El Greco, Zubaran, and Goya had the greatest impact on him. The El Greco section greets visitors with a black silk velvet evening coat with a ruffled collar. Created in the 1950s, this coat echoes a 16th century portrait by El Greco. The man in the portrait wears a ruff, which became popular in Europe during the Renaissance. It originated in Spain and spread to other places with the expansion of the Spanish Imperium. Balenciaga's design referenced the ruff and reflected the proud, almost arrogant bearing of Spanish nobility. The black coat is only a prelude to a colorful display. A major artist of the Spanish Renaissance, El Greco is known for his imaginative style, unique compositions, and use of rich colors. 
He often gave his paintings a dramatic touch. With similar shapes, volume, and equally expressive colors, Balenciaga brought El Greco's depictions to life. It's a room full of color. Uh, El Greco is known for his mastery of, uh, of color, uh, variegated silks, heavy silks, like Valenciaga used to use. And also because uh, when Valenciaga is uh, starting his career, that is coincidental with a recovery of El Greco, who was not so well known. Uh, in, in the world of art, because uh, most of his paintings were in secluded monasteries or churches in Toledo. With the firm grasp of chiaroscuro, Francisco de Zubaran was a Spanish Caravaggio. And because of his vivid depiction of fabrics and the movement of cloth, he was considered by many as one of the first fashion designers. The volume, folds, and textures shown in his works strongly influenced Balenciaga. The self-taught talent, who directly designed with fabrics instead of sketches, was obsessed with the construction of garments. He kept exploring new cuttings and new materials to create unique structures. The sculptural silhouettes in his creations set him apart in the world of fashion. The second artist would be Thurbaran, who uh, has been acclaimed as the first couturier of history. He is a 17th century painter, that is the golden age of the Spanish artistic tradition. And when we see uh, Thurbaran's paintings, uh, the first thing that might come into our minds is what Balenciaga used to say. He claimed that a great couturier should be an artist in color, a sculpture for volume, a musician for harmony, and an architect for structure. And you can see how those very structured capes, uh, the use, the beautiful use of color is linked with, uh, with the paintings of uh, Thurbaran. A selection of wedding dresses designed by Balenciaga are also on display, including the one made in 1960 for Fabriola de Mora y Aragon for her marriage to King Baudouin of Belgium. Silhouettes and geometric forms made with rigid fabrics create a dialogue with the white habits painted by Zuberan. Simplicity and purity highlight the elegance of the dress. Another key painter for Balenciaga was undoubtedly Francisco de Goya, one of the most celebrated romantic painters in Spanish art history. Goya was acclaimed in the Spanish court for his royal portraits. His works recounted the evolution of style and taste and reproduced the delicate fabrics and exquisite embellishments worn at that time. Even though not the main subject of his paintings, these fine artistic details moved Balenciaga and offered a new perspective on Goya's works. And the third room that is devoted to uh, one of those great Spanish masters is Goya. Uh, and that is a very, that is, I would say, the, the topical or the typical idea we have of Spain. Uh, lace veils, the mantillas, and frills. Uh, Goya is a master of uh, textiles. We have some very, very powerful works. Uh, for instance, the portrait of the Duchess of Alba. 
that comes from the collection of the Dukes of Alba. In 1795, Goya painted the Duchess of Alba in white for the 13th Duchess of Alba from one of the most prestigious noble families in Spain. The Duchess was known for her beauty and personality. In the painting, she wears a white tulle dress with red and gold embellishments, showing the pride and inner passion of a Spanish noblewoman. This look was also reproduced by Balenciaga. In addition to the bold use of bright and beautiful colors, Balenciaga was deeply infatuated with black. Because of him, this color was pursued and admired by the whole world of fashion. A 1938 magazine article described his use of thick Spanish black, almost velvety, a night without stars, which makes the ordinary black seem almost gray. Black became honored as the color of Spanish royalty. It originated in the court of Philip II. Inspired by the court paintings of the Habsburg monarchy, Balenciaga created modern classics with a personal approach to interpreting black. On the ceremonial robe is a soft and gentle ivory white color, brilliant against the black background. It creates a stark contrast and highlights Balenciaga's signature style. When Christian Dior's 1947 new look became prevalent, the pure and dazzling lines of Balenciaga's avant-garde designs were an alternative for women's fashion. All the great couturiers really acknowledged that he was the best. And Coco Chanel said, he is the only one of us that can make a beautiful gown from scratch. You give him the materials and he will sew it all together. So I think one of the most uh, influential aspects of uh, Cristobal Valenciaga is the tailoring. He's, um, the structure is amazing uh, because he really started as an assistant, as a very, very young man. Uh, he started as an assistant in tailor's shops in uh, San Sebastian, uh, which was uh, then a very fashionable place. Alongside his black dresses, Balenciaga also once, under influence from still lifes and other court paintings, designed numerous florid attire, using decorations to the utmost. In Paris, he worked with leading fabric designers and workshops that specialized in buttons, floral design, and plumage. They provided exquisitely beautiful ornaments for Balenciaga's haute couture dresses, which blossomed on his fabrics. The work of artists, artisans, and designers coincided to capture and preserve ephemeral natural beauty. Balenciaga also collected historical costumes, including Spanish attire made with elaborate lace, embroidery, and extensive ornaments of beads. With those as inspiration, Many of his own designs were crafted with the best embroidery techniques of the time. These glittering stitch-by-stitch -stitch creations may rival those master paintings or even surpass them. The last section reveals how 19th and 20th century Spanish paintings influenced Balenciaga. 
Although he left Spain for Paris in 1936, Balenciaga constantly looked back to Spanish traditions. His designs often incorporated cultural references that every Spaniard would recognize. A lady holding a fan appeared in many paintings by Ignacio Zuluaga, who, like Balenciaga, was an artist from the Basque country. In Spain, ladies with folding fans chatting on a summer afternoon were a delightful view. Their fans not only cooled them off, but sometimes stirred a conversation or covered a hint of a smile. Perhaps inspired by this portrait of the 17th Duchess of Alba by Zuluaga, Balenciaga designed a red taffeta evening gown in 1952 that resembled the dress in the painting. Flamenco is a passionate dance originating from gypsy dance and Spanish folk music. Antonio Maria Esquivel's The Dancer Josefa Vargas depicts a flamenco dancer. The movements of flamenco dancers are graceful and firm, often embellished by shoe taps and hand clapping. But the music that accompanies sometimes suggests a hint of sorrow. This may be a way for gypsies to express their nostalgic feelings. In 1955, Valenciago designed a cocktail dress. The frills resemble the emblematic design of a flamenco dress and seem to capture the movement of the dress, as if the wearer were dancing. The lace edges add even more elegance to the dress. As well as flamenco, bullfighting also shows the passion of the Spanish people. In this portrait by Ramon Casas, Julia, one of the painter's favorite models, wears a jacket that resembles a bullfighter's suit. She seems nonchalant with her hands resting akimbo, displaying an arrogant attitude. Echoing this painting is a bolero jacket designed by Balenciaga. Although it was not designed for a bullfighter, its texture and embellishments reflect the spirit of bullfighting. Visitors are really mesmerized. Uh, the feedback that the museum receives is amazing. Uh, many, many overseas visitors have just traveled to Madrid just to see this. And uh, even for Spaniards, uh, it might have been a great discovery. Uh, of course, we are very familiar with our great artistic tradition, but uh, not so much with Valenciaga. We knew him from magazines, uh, there are pieces in museums, but seeing this fascinating dialogue is uh, really amazing and it makes us hugely proud of our great artistic tradition in both senses, in fashion and in painting. Fashion and art are always intertwined. The exhibition Balenciaga and Spanish Painting creates a direct dialogue between haute couture designs and master paintings, revealing the close connection between fashion and art. <laughs>